Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Hi, Spencer. <laughs> hey, it's great to be talking to you guys again. This is uh, this is DJ Rem, and you are our live on metalheadradio.com and for all the listeners out there this is ecliptica from brazil they are a killer very awesome hardcore metal band and uh the sweet vocals so what, what else can i say about that very cool <laughs> so uh, hello guys good night uh it's an honor to be here with the jram uh, spencer and uh we're Ecliptica from Brazil, like you said, <laughs> a heavy metal band or whatever, heavy, <laughs> uh, death, thrash, everything together band. <laughs> and well, it's an honor to be here for you, all you guys, uh, that the listeners from Metalhead Radio. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, so what I'd like is the first thing if you could do for us. If you could just kind of, if everybody that's there could introduce yeah. themselves and just kind of, you know, talk about what your spot in the band is. Great, Elena. Well, I'm Elena Martins. I'm the lead singer, basically. And <laughs> <laughs> um, Laramy, I play guitar and scream vocals, <laughs> like some people say. I'm Ed Valisky, and I am I'm playing. Guitar and sing something. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. us, three of us. <laughs> yeah, the other two guys couldn't make it today. So, well, that's uh, that's too bad, but we'll, uh, they're in our hearts regardless, even though we'll just. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they can't speak yeah, yeah. English very well, so it's better, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I was kind of I was kind of hoping that you guys could interpret, though. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, if one of them arrived, we could do that. Right. All right. <laughs> okay, so I do have a couple questions uh, from listeners. I actually asked the Metalhead Radio listeners to send in some questions, and I actually got some. So I guess I'm going to kind of throw those out there, and then as you're answering them, I'm sure I'll come up with other things that I want to talk about. So, so Zach, he's uh, one of our faithfuls, and actually he is a new DJ on Metalhead Radio. And what he wanted to know is he wanted to know what got you into music to begin with, and then, who are your influences? Um, okay, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of a hard question. I think uh, I started when I was 14, 13, I think. I started singing in choirs, and then later on I started to do some um, singing lessons. And then I think in 2002 I joined the band, it was my first band. And since then, I'm here, <laughs> and I've been doing some classes since then, always studying, and I don't, I don't know, influences. Um, I've well, listened... each, each member, I think, it's influenced yeah, by a different by band. Yeah, by different bands, yeah. I started, listening, I started listening rock and roll with Aerosmith. I think it was my first band that I really loved. <laughs> And then later on, I started to listen to Metallica and Iron Maiden, and of course the um, the female fronted bands like Nightwish and Within Temptation. I think that's basically it. Yeah, uh, me uh, Guilherme started the band with my cousin back in '99, and at first it was just like, let's make a cover band. We loved uh, Iron Maiden, Metallica. Uh, Man of War, <laughs> yeah. and uh, well, later on we decided to to have a girl singing. So at first the band was really true uh, metal, you know, like leather jackets and everything, you know. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But uh, as time went by, we we, we kind of started listening to other types of music and such as, I don't know, prog metal sometimes, like Dream Theater yeah. and Symphony X. Melodic. Melodic metal. metal. We liked, you know, Stradivarius. Uh, what else? Halloween. Halloween. Uh, those kind of bands. Yeah, those and are then, also my favorites. I yeah. love them. <laughs> and later we kind of started with uh, more hardcore bands like Arch Enemy, uh, Kill Switch Engage, All That Remains. In Flames. In Flames, you know, uh, more, of, more of the scream vocals type of stuff, you know, like heavy guitars and everything. 
And I think Elio here, he was the last, uh, <laughs> let's go, new member. He's in the band for like almost two years now. Yeah. And his influences, and better you saying that, right? I, st <laughs> I started um, when I was 14. And my first band was Guns N' Roses. Yeah. It's, it's funny you say Guns N' Roses because after when this Metallica are made in uh, Halloween. Yeah, I'm sorry. What? What's that? Uh, repeat, please. Oh, sorry. There's a little bit of lag there. No, I was just going to say, you mentioned Guns N' Roses, and the only reason I, I kind of cut in, sorry, is Guns N' Roses. That was They were the first band I ever watched on MTV. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I uh, I like very much uh, the 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 slash job. I the he he he's the my favorite member, and uh, I I I listen I I have many many bands and Halloween like Halloween yeah are uh, made in. Uh, but I, I, I ever listen mo most band like. Uh, um, He's more of the classic rock yeah, style. Yeah, more you know? classic. Led Zeppelin, <laughs> Purple, um, Pink. Uh, Pink Floyd, and after when I I, I start started playing with Kutska. I yeah. start to, to listen to Swish Engage, uh, Flames. <laughs> we brought him to the hardcore type yeah. of music, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that, excellent. That's right. Everybody has to be brought to the hardcore at some point in their life. <laughs> 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 but I think that's very good because we have a very good mixture of styles here in the band. And I think that contributes a lot to the result, you know, of the music. Yeah, the, so. the, the, the point of... Having a, a band, I think you have to, to have some, something unique, you know, so uh, using all of these different tastes, like musical tastes, yeah, and yeah. Uh, we, we came up with this new type, different we think it's new, style, different yeah. style, yeah. Uh, within metal, but still, yeah. Right, That's, yeah, that. definitely. <laughs> it's It all has, you know, and what I've noticed, and, you know, most people that like metal, Especially when you yeah. look back at the old school, like old school Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin, any of those bands from that era. I mean, you can kind of feel a sense of those bands and just about everybody today. They're kind of really like the forefathers, you know? For sure. Yeah. They invented like uh, using riffs, guitar solos, that type, that type of stuff, you know? So That we used to do. Yeah. yeah. Right, and and yeah. you guys and you mentioned Pink Floyd. In Pink Floyd, I would say most of the members of Metalhead Radio or the owners, anyways, man. Pink Floyd is like top of their list if you ask them what their favorite yes. band is. But Great. I, I think I think they are in the top of everybody's list because <laughs> yeah. they are amazing. Yeah, that's true. You can't deny that they're very good. Yeah. 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 Okay, well. so one I do have to go back to Helena though, because you mentioned Aerosmith. And yeah. I don't know if you guys pay attention to Rolling Stone magazine, but Rolling Stone magazine has this n most recent issue has um, Steven Tyler on the on the cover, and yes. he is his hair is full of feathers. So <laughs> have 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 feathers in the hair? Have that have they made it down to Brazil? Feathers in the hair. I don't think um, it's. Um. <laughs> why the hell does he have feather in his hair? <laughs> it's it, it, it's the new thing. They're kind of like extensions. The only reason I bring it up, and I was curious, is because my six-year-old daughter is into these feathers already. It's crazy. Oh Jesus! Well, I remember. I no, remember it's not a big I, thing here. No, anything. I remember when I was fifteen. I think uh, ten, ten years ago. I remember it was fashion using earrings with feathers. But it stopped. It doesn't didn't last so long. But I didn't really know about this. You right. Know, <laughs> kind of a quick quick fad that came and went. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Steven Tyler and all that seventies eighties band they they had a big influence on what people was wearing that at that times, right? Yeah. Right. Like, 
big hairs, uh, color, colorful clothes, makeup, makeup, makeup. <laughs> you know, like bands like Cinderella, Poison, yeah. you know, Skid Row. Skid Row. Oh, yeah. Skid Row, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, well, so. Do that. <laughs> So Jason, he's a he's a, a a very loyal metalhead radio listener. He's on the chat all the time. He wants to know why listeners should focus on Ecliptica and what makes you guys stand out from other bands. <laughs> That's a very good question. It's yeah. <laughs> a very good question. Well, I think the first thing that comes to my mind is that we are really. Um, big fighters, you know, <laughs> we are fighting for this dream for almost 10 years now, more than 10 years, yeah. actually. And we really try to do something different, something that is not uh, on the market, as you know, you can say that. Yeah. And, um, and we really do it from the bottom of our hearts. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's an honest job. It's, yeah, it's, it, is. Uh, it is. Right on music, like, we, we did everything the best way we could using our, you know, uh, resources. Yeah. And yeah, because having, yeah. a, having a band here in Brazil, uh, it's very difficult. It's not very easy. Uh, the equipments are very expensive and you don't have such motivation from other people, especially when you say that you have a metal band. Yeah. Um, so I think it's not popular here. It's like, not. It's not really popular, no. So like yeah. in Europe or in America, you can say everything's popular. So, I, I don't know. Yeah, you I, guys I, live there, you know better than than us. But here, it just it's just uh, country music, uh, samba. I don't know carnival kind of stuff, and the, the, the rock and metal scene is like poor and. It's not well. Uh, the structure, the structure is poor. You know, it's bad. So you have to, like, search uh, for contacts. Uh, for you have, you have to have money, and yeah, so that's it's the, difficult. That's so. why we consider this bands that um, there are there are success now, like Sepultura and Angra and the other ones. Like they are like God to us because they managed to did great, you know, they did great and they're still doing we, it. yeah, and, and we we have them as a role model, you know. And for us is uh, I think every day, every week that we you know, that we rehearse and we talk to each other and we make plans, I think it's a victory for us. Because if you stop and think about it, every everything conspire conspire against you know so we are really a big really big fighters i think <laughs> right and and honestly i think i can i hear that in your music you know i mean it really your music to me is very pure and, and and very strong and when i say strong i just mean i can tell it really is coming from your heart so yeah and i think yeah. that's one of the things that drew that drew me to you guys you know and i don't even i can't honestly even tell you how i came across you guys I think, I think it might have been on YouTube or something. I really don't know. It's just like one day I heard one of your songs. I was like, man, these guys are awesome. Thank <laughs> you. Well, uh, internet and here we are. It's great, right? <laughs> we love the internet. It's our. Uh, it's our main communication. Yeah, main uh, marketing. And we, we do everything for internet. And, and I think. All bands to, nowadays are doing that because well, and what you, and what you said is, is really true because I think um, these songs from this uh, new CD um, it, it really mean the, the the lyrics really mean a lot to us. I think. Yeah, we we wanted to do something strong, something with you know, how can I say? Um, I don't know something for, uh, for the people to under Meaningful. really understand. Yeah, really understand what we wanted to say, you know. And this is these problems that we talk about on the on the lyrics. <laughs> on the lyrics are really rock star um, arrives. Yeah, they are arriving now. Like and I said, lyrics <laughs> mean to us. <laughs> Fashionably <Yeah. really> late. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, I think um, so. Answering like yeah, let's, <laughs> uh, it's an honest music we do with from the bottom of our hearts. 
what stands out is that on stage, if you guys, I wish you guys could have this opportunity someday <laughs> <laughs> to see us live on stage. Uh, everybody like comes comes back to us and and says like, you guys are great on stage. You can see uh, the smile on, on your faces. You do this from like it's really honest and pure. Like we you really said. we really enjoy that. We it's really what we love to do. So. Yeah. Well, I tell you right. If you don't love what you're doing, there's you're not. It's not going to come out right, and it definitely comes out right, right with you guys. So, of course, yeah. So okay, so Sarah, she is another um, new DJ and avid fan and listener of Metalhead Radio, and she wants to know what some of your favorite American bands are. Ooh, American a lot of them. A lot of bands actually, yeah. Well, let's them. let's divide for members. I don't know. Uh, I already mentioned uh, Aerosmith. Uh, I don't know. Go on. Aerosmith, In Flames. I know they're American. No. Nope. No, they're American. <laughs> no. Shit. They're from <laughs> Sweden. Jesus Christ. Okay, oh Kiss Switch Engage. I know they're American. Kiss Switch Engage. Yeah. I think I think that's the band that I'm listening more these days. Kiss Switch Engage. I think it's my favorite. Well, I like uh, Metallica for sure. I love uh, Symphony X, Dream Theater. Dream Theater! Yeah. Dream Theater. I forgot about Dream Theater. <laughs> <laughs> I like All That Remains. Uh, what else? That, there's a lot of. The, the list is big. Yeah. <laughs> I like. Uh, Guns and Roses, Guns and you Roses, said already. Uh, bon Jovi. <laughs> like, like yeah. Bon Jovi. <laughs> uh, I like In Kent. In Enchant. 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 Well, that's um, Trivium. I like Trivium. Trivium is good. Yeah. Uh, Pantera. 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 Lamb of God. Said Lamb of God. Lamb of God. Lamb of God is great. Awesome. Uh, kind of things. Yeah. Yeah. Lamb of God by far one of my favorites for sure. <laughs> I'm with you there. I'm with you there. So you know you're talking about the. Um, you know, how the internet is kind of the way to go with promoting and, and, and kind of getting your name out there. I mean, in as far as my view is the record industry is pretty much dead, you know, and I don't know what the record industry is like in Brazil. So I guess if you could just, you know, quickly kind of tell me what you think of the record industry as a whole. Yeah. Uh, well, in Brazil, I think it's the same worldwide, you know, like no, no one's selling records anymore, right? Everyone knows that, and for like a uh, small band like us, we sell records at our concerts, our yeah. gigs, mm -hmm. uh, and it's going pretty good actually. And but for the big guys who used to sell records before, I think they're like they're having a rough time. Yeah, they're getting frustrated. I think. They're a little frustrated. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah. But I think that's it. You know, you can't fight against it. It's you know the natural course. Uh, you have to embrace it and put your songs on MySpace yeah. and everything. You, you, you can't fight against it. For I sure. think there, there's, there's yet to be like figured out how to make money uh, selling music other than just doing concerts, you know? They're, I think they are like uh, with iTunes and everything, they're still figuring out how, how to like have make this... Money have this uh, previous structure that they had, but I think for the big record companies, I don't know if I can say this, but they're fucked, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, really they are. I mean, just everything has changed so much in just the last, even the last five years, it has changed so much. Yeah, they, they have to, to figure out a way to, to make money again uh, with music and you yeah. know, that, that's art. Something, that's something we were talking about before, releasing the album we were talking like we're not gonna make money <laughs> with this cds you know we know that it's uh, the cd is something that a band must have to show the, uh, its work you know and uh, complete work right yeah yeah because and like we, we we uh sent you the cd and you got the the, the, the full package you know like the the booklet with the lyrics with some messages all the information about the album, where it was recorded, who produced it, 
where it was mastered and I think there's still people who enjoys that and, li and like to have that at their homes, you know, like uh, have the full package, you know. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, no, you're right. A lot of people like to have that physical CD and they like that case. And for me, yeah. I, I love the artwork. The artwork, the artwork is a big, huge part of it for me. You know, you can yeah. and you can tell that a lot of work and effort goes into developing that. For sure. For yeah, sure. <laughs> it was a lot of work for us, I, and I think um, it's part of the complete work. You know, uh, just the songs uh, they don't really show the complete thing. Right. I think that we put a lot of effort on the booklet, on the art, and everything. And we really wanted um, it to show, uh, to give the you know the looks of the music. Yeah, know? it's another it's another resource, so c you can show people what what you're trying to yeah, say. You know, yeah, yeah. just listen to one song on iTunes. It's not, it's by far not what we want. Yeah, we want sure. every yeah. everyone to have the full package to listen to all the, the songs in the right order. Sometimes you know and. It yeah, it, it makes it makes a big difference for us mm -hmm. when we were trying to, when we were deciding what to like release, you know. Exactly. So, so I'm going to throw this out there and get, let you guys do a plug here because you'll be able to plug this to all the listeners. Well, you know, there's a lot of people out there that want to buy your CD. So, where can they buy the actual CD? <laughs> uh, that's that's kind of a problem yet for us because. Um, Only yeah. in Brazil. Yeah, we are still That's trying to contact some of the records in the United States. Labels, right? At the, at the sorry, the labels, and we are we are still talking to them, still arranging the things, and but it's, we still don't have anything. Any distributor yeah, in America? Yeah, not yet. In we are trying. To anywhere do. outside Brazil yet? We're like Elena said, we're trying to contact some labels that are interested on in our work and it's hard man because you have to like convince some people that you're you deserve it you know <laughs> right uh huh <laughs> and well if if it's a small amount of people like 10 guys or whatever we can send them CDs, right? Yeah, or sure, sure. It's not we, we can use the the, the mail, right? We have, like we, have... we sent you an a CD. Like yeah. we sent some CDs to Europe, some CDs to yeah. We wherever, have we right? have a label here in Brazil, but they don't distribute outside of Brazil. So yeah. we are still doing that ourselves, you know. So, but we are still uh, we are we are already talking to some labels outside of Brazil, and hopefully, it will work soon. Yeah. Okay, well, so what you need to do then is as soon as you have, you know, eventually when you have that um, that all straightened out, make sure you let me know. I'll, I'll share that with the listeners. And then yeah. also, if there's any listeners out there after this interview that are like, hey, I want to buy their CD, I will, um, I'll send them your way. Yeah, sure. uh, we have a, an email for that, right? Yeah. It's contact at ecliptica with an I and K at the end, dot com. It's our main email for communication, doing communication with, with fans, fans and everything. Yeah. Okay. So. Awesome. So okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna change uh, change tactics here. I'm gonna ask you a different kind of question. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, Be and you and you can all answer this or just want to you know however you want to go about. But so what are you listening to in your iPod or your MP3 player or whatever you listen to music on? What are you listening to right now? Mm. <laughs> okay, I can say Kill Switch and Engage. Uh, a Brazilian band called Mindflow, I think you know already. <laughs> yeah, I told him about them. Yeah. Um, they are doing a, a, a new US tour right now with yeah. UFO, you know? Right? <laughs> yeah, they, they're, they're killer. I like, I like them guys a lot. They, they yeah. definitely have my uh, attention. On my iPod right now, it's the new Iron Maiden record. Uh, Final Frontier. <laughs> yeah, that's good too. The last one I bought. I listen mindful. Mindful. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and Dream Theater. Yeah, we're we're following the the news with the new drummer yeah, with Dream Theater. <laughs> Mike Mundin. Yeah. That's it. Then. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. I am listening to. <laughs> guess what? <laughs> Ecliptica. 
and that and that is no BS story. I was I was mowing my lawn the other day, jamming <laughs> out to you guys. So cool. It's <laughs> so nice to hear, man. <laughs> so, Thanks. <laughs> so I guess uh, I just got a couple more questions for you, and then we can. I guess we'll probably be able to wrap this up. Um, we might have to take a break here and come back just because of that little issue I told you about. But, yeah. uh, but technical issues. <laughs> yes. So I guess any any advice that you guys would have for other bands out there trying to you know trying to make it, trying to live their dream. Yeah. Uh, well, we we want that advice too because <laughs> <laughs> we are still trying. <laughs> yeah, like what what we tried to do at first it was always to have, to be honest to do an honest job not to think about like elena said selling <coughs> records uh, you have to put yourself like completely completely into, into the, the the thing like you have to study you have to search uh for the right people to do with you like the band members are really important you have to have a like we have a family here yeah. right we gather all weekends and everyone has a job outside the band and we, we talk pretty much every day per internet or emails or and everything. So we have a, a family playing together, doing what we love and with, I don't know. We're living passion, with, yeah. with passion, yeah. So yep. you have to put yourself all in. You have to sometimes search for the, the right people to work with you. Yeah, and uh, I think one of the important things to do is uh, don't give up. <laughs> yeah. Because problems will show up, and you have to deal with them. And, and most of the times, are uh, these problems are really o overwhelming if you don't manage manage them correctly. So yeah, uh, just you know, put your feet on the ground and continue. You know. Because it's not it's not easy for it. Anyone, I think. No, it's, it's not easy. Uh, it's you and your friends against the world. Like we, I, I used to say yeah. that because, uh, like the other who asked about why should people listen to us, Zach, right? I, I don't. Yep, that was Zach. Yep. Well, no, no, now uh, my bad. That was <laughs> Jason that asked that. Jason. So, uh, you have to show people why they have to listen to you. So on stage. On every work you put out, they have to like realize, oh, these guys are here for like they're serious, they're professional, they they're they they're doing a work with honesty and they're creative, you know. So that's the advice I think. Yeah, and and <laughs> you and you have to do it yourself because no but no one else is gonna do it for you. Yeah. And I we were talking about this. The other day. Except if you're just in Bieber or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. I don't think it happens. This happens to us or any other metal band. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to take a quick break here, so the band can grab a beer, and we'll, we will be right back on MetalheadRadio.com. <laughs> 